Hey, welcome back. Today, I'm just gonna take you on a quick tour to show you what we've been doing with the multi-board with the new on-grid border tiles and how we're getting prepared to uh, have those in our inventory, as well as give you an update on how we finished out reorganizing our print room. Um, if you're curious about how it all started, I'll link the video right up here. So let's go take a look at what we did. Well, we added another shelf. When we were working here for the first six days, uh, we had set up our large format printer on the uh, lighter shelving that we had originally for the P1Ss, and it just shook too much. So that's when we made the decision uh, to go ahead and get another shelving system after measuring. We decided to go with a 90 inch by 90 inch, so we have plenty of room. In fact, it, we could eventually grow and maybe even switch the P1Ss over here and the large format to these shelves. So there's a lot of opportunities in this small space, a 10 by 10. I know some of you are commenting, hey, you need a bigger room. Well, we're, this is the room we have for right now, so we're just making it work. I'm gonna show you around a couple of other areas so um, you can see what else we have in store. So now we have better use of our closet space. We reorganized and moved all our filament back into this closet. We did have the pet G in another spare room. So on this side is our PLA for the most part. And then this side is our pet G uh, filament. So that's a plus. And now because we've reorganized, we can close the closet doors. Uh, these were remaining open before. Uh, because we had our dehumidifier sitting over here and the air purifier, and there was just no place to park for them. Uh, the dehumidifier, I'll show you here in a minute, and where we put the air purifier as well. So as you come in the door, we now have the purifier right inside the doorway, and uh, we try to keep it at 35. Seems to work really well. Uh, depending on your location, you might need a dehumidifier. We live in lovely, humid Florida, so we definitely need it. Then we moved our air purifier right in between the two shelves. It uh, fits nicely. It's almost like it was measured. It wasn't. It just fit perfectly. And you'll also notice that our P1S uh, shelving unit that we put up, we decided to move it back uh, against the wall so we could have more space. And that meant that our uh, original poop bucket system uh, actually could be used again. And our A1 has now moved to the top shelf. And then that also means we can use our multi-board system once again because it was blocked when we pulled those shelves out. We did have to move one of our multi-board um, systems that we had on the back wall uh, if you've been watching our channel, you'll know that uh, that system was actually put up with the command strips. So the connectors we used were the command strips. And boy, it was so easy to take off the wall. And now I'm just waiting for some more of these strips to come in from Amazon. They should be here any minute. And then I'm going to put up this system right, I think about... Here, we'll probably go a little above the light switch and over from the door. And then we're going to put the same um, arrangement right next to it um, and just add to the system uh, so that we'll have uh, uh, this whole wall pretty much uh, accessible to put up storage there to make more room on the bench that's right here. And this was the second bench that uh, we were going to put a large format printer on. And now we can use it uh, for our tools. You'll see the Sunlu back here. And this makes a really nice station for when um, Papa Wolf is doing uh, the refills on uh, the filament. Um, he just uh, makes this his workstation for that. Uh, we're also gonna be testing out a new company. Uh, it's Ziltech on their filaments and we'll have to give you an update on how that goes as well. We just got these in yesterday. Let's go see if the 3M strips are here and I'll show you how to put them on the new section of the board that we're gonna add 
up here to uh, the original system. Okay, before I go ahead and show you those clips, I just wanted to show you the uh, connectors that go with this set. And they have the command strip area right here. We realized when I was putting this together earlier that we didn't have any of the quads made. So we went ahead and just used the dual. We'll make it work. It's it's just for our own purposes. And we're also recycling some of the tiles that we use to test other uh, pet G's out. So they're not uniform, so don't look too closely, but we like to recycle around here. And so <laughs> this is the box that just got delivered by Amazon with the command strips. Uh, looks a little suspect, but um, they don't have the traditional look to them. So they might be dupes, but hey, we're gonna go ahead and use them. And uh, it's just for our purposes. Uh, so basically what I do when I get these, I just go ahead and match them up and pair them. And then, you know, the crunchy sound. Oh, that's a fun sound. Hope you don't mind it. <laughs> and then you just split them off. And you just wanna take off one of the backings. And then let's see, this spot up here is empty. Just line them up so the tab this down and just give it a good push and repeat the process. I'm really glad that we used the command strips on this section because it did not put holes in our walls and it, it stayed up that whole time. We didn't put a lot of weight on it either, uh, but the way it's held, I would think you could do a decent amount. I just wouldn't use it like in a garage situation where you have a lot of your heavier tools. But lighter tools for 3D printing works just fine. All right, there we go. They're all ready. When um, we take it in the next room, I'll just measure it up. I'll probably just do a time lapse. And uh, yeah, we'll get the old section and this new section uh, right next to it. So back in the print room, getting ready to hang it. You just pull off the clear tabs, position it. I did my best to make sure that it was level. Probably isn't, but I tried and uh, just get both sections up there and we're ready to go. Now let's take a look at the last section um, of the room, which is in the center. On the middle work table, uh, Papa Wolf has been busy uh, printing up each type of border tile. He's got them arranged here uh, by the uh, way that they would lay out in a wall system. Um, we got the P1S's busy on printing uh, certain colors that are, are needed. Um, this one's on pause. We do have a custom order that I'm waiting to hear back from to see uh, which color they need their tiles in. And as soon as that comes in, then we'll get that middle P1S working on that custom order. Uh, the custom part of it is that they're going to need for uh, their wall unit six by eight. So um, we've got to print some of those and then also include the regular eight by eights uh, for their needs. Papa Wolf and I are so thankful for reaching over 600 subscribers on this channel. We wanna thank each one of you who has subscribed. And if this is content that you're interested in, we would love for you to subscribe and follow along. Until next time, live the adventure one layer at a time.